Hello friends, welcome again on Pharma Learner series of interview questions and answers. In today's tutorial, I will discuss about exhibit batch size requirements for a NDA submission. This is the next part of my previous tutorial on the same topic. In this tutorial I will talk about exhibit batch size requirements for parenterals and transdermal dosages forms. In previous tutorial, I have already discussed about exhibit batch size requirements for solid orals, liquid orals, and topical dosage forms. If have you not watched this tutorial please watch that also. I have also provided the link below in description. I am continuously preparing the such question and answer series for interview, if you have not subscribed this channel, please subscribe so that you don't miss any, and don't forget to hit the bell icon, so that you will get the notification of all my new tutorials first. Now, let's start with the parentals. According to FDA guidelines, 2 out of 3 batches should be minimum 10% of proposed commercial batch. There are 3 conditions for batch size, based on fill volume. First is, if fill volume is up to 2 ml, batch size of 2 pilot batches should be 30 liter or 10% of proposed commercial batch, whichever is greater. Second is, if fill volume is more than 2 ml, batch size of 2 pilot batches should be 50 liter or 10% of proposed commercial batch, whichever is greater. And third one is, if applicant proposed a multiple fill volume for commercial batch, then in this case also, batch size of two pilot batches should be 50 liter or 10% of proposed commercial batch, whichever is greater. Again, please note that these quantities excludes all the losses, in this case, it excludes filling or flushing losses. And, the third batch can be smaller than proposed commercial batch but should not be less than 25% of pilot batch. Now, let's consider, the proposed commercial batch size is 1000 liter. So, 10% of 1000 liter is 100 liters. Here in this case 100 liters is greater than 30 and 50 liter, so minimum quantity of 2 pilot batches is 100 liters each. Now, come on to the third batch. SP, as per guidance, it should not be less than 25% of pilot batch. So, 25% of 100 liters are 25 liters. Let's take one more example. Now we consider, the proposed commercial batch size is 200 liters. So, 10% of 200 liters are 20 liters. Here in this case 20 liters are lesser than the minimum quantities described in the guidance. So, here in this case minimum quantity of the two pilot batches should be either 30 liters or 50 liters based on the fill volumes. Now we calculate the third batch. Here also for third batch, there are two conditions. If pilot batch size is 50 liters, then third small scale batch size will be 25% of 50 liters that is 12.5 liters. And, if pilot batch size is 30 liters, then third small scale batch size will be 25% of 30 liters which is 7.5 liters. This is about the batch size requirements for parenterals. Now move on to batch size requirements for transdermal patches. Let's see what guidelines say. Here for transdermal patches. 2 out of 3 batches should be minimum 10% of proposed commercial batch or 25,000 units, whichever is greater. And the third batch should not be less than 60% of pilot batch. For matrix system, where different strengths are identified by patch size or we can say by surface area, 3 distinct laminate should be used. That is, it should be manufactured using three different lots of backing film, adhesive, release liner and other critical excipients. Now take one example. So let's consider if proposed commercial batch size is 2 lakh units. So 10% of 2 lakh is 20,000 units. But guidance says minimum 25,000 units. So minimum quantity of 2 pilot batches is 25,000 units. Now we calculate for third batch. So, 60% of 25,000 is 15,000. So in short, minimum batch size required for two pilot scale batches will be 25,000, each and third small scale batch will be is of 15,000. That is all about the exhibit batch size requirement of a NDA batches for parenterals and transdermal dosage forms. I hope you like this tutorial. Before sharing you some important key point on this topic, I would like to say, 
Thank you for watching this tutorial. We will meet again next week with one more new topic. If you still not subscribe this channel, please subscribe it and also hit the bell icon so that you will get the notification on my all tutorials. Please give thumbs up if you like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues. Now these are some important key points which you need to remember about the exhibit batch size requirements.